Okay. Where are we going to drop this stuff? I think we should pop it. I'm going to go in this little pocket here, actually. Test it out. You can see one of our uh, other pots just went blue, which is very cool. That suggests that uh, they are also ready for collection. Shipping, I think we're okay. So this is definitely a cool aspect of the game. I think, I can't remember, it's been a long time since I played Fishing Baron Sea. But I, there's part of me that thinks that um, you could only have eight lines on a boat. Whereas here, we can buy as many lines as we like, but obviously we can only have eight on the boat at any one time. But we can own... Well, I've proven we can own 16. I'm guessing you could own 32, should you wish. Um, just so long as you alternate between which ones are on deck and which ones are not. Which is a nice, a nice addition to the game. turn around and go and see our other rig see how we're getting on interestingly 17 hours there's only one of them there that's blue there's one of them there that's blue like that I don't know what that means I actually don't know what that bar across the uh, the information means at all all right there's definitely fish on this one and hopefully as we pull it in the others will fire oh there we go i know set deep line I'll say the shadow on the boat there looks a little weird. Oh, missed completely. I'm getting a few stutters again. I thought I'd fixed it, but uh, no, we're having a couple of uh, small stutters. Okay, 1,400 kilograms on that one. And I can see that number three is just fired. So let's skip number two and give it a chance to fire itself. Oh yeah, they're all going now, look, they're all firing. I can almost guarantee as I go past number two, it will fire. <laughs> the lure of sod. Let's just see if I can get the shadows looking a bit better. Um... Yep, 
No, so it's not that then. It must be something to do with reflection. It's really cool when you see them fire actually, because the, the boy proper pops up like it should. I've seen it once, I think, once or twice. Completely didn't press the button there for some reason. Half asleep. So just the two on that hole, and that's okay because I literally put these lines down exactly where the last lot were. So I quite like the idea that the fish have moved on and uh, we're not getting any catches. I still think it's a little bit too easy. It's almost guaranteed, isn't it, that you're going to catch something. Oh, that one hasn't fired, even though it's gone blue. It hasn't fired. Okay, that's why I'm not getting three fish then. I think I'm going to have to buy some better binoculars because they all look like they would fired, but they haven't. They've just gone blue. All right, we'll do a round robin and then I think we'll weigh anchor for a little bit. And um, we'll see if things look any better. But if we do it from here, I might be able to see properly with the binoculars. Give it two hours. Hey, that one's fired. That one's fired. That one's fired. That one's fired. Okay, now we got some fishies. Alrighty. Good, good, good. Number two is still red. Or is number two further down there? Number two is further down there. So number two, I don't think, has fired still. Yeah. Not fired. Okay. We'll leave number two. And we'll haul in the ones that have triggered. Oh, a couple of swordfish. Pretty good start. How's number two looking? Still not triggered. A bit concerned about what that boat's doing. He's definitely heading towards us, isn't he? Hey, caramba. Mistimed it. Like it. So 
So guys, remember, uh, the reason why I'm playing this game is to highlight to you what the game is capable of, show you what, um, what it's like to play, where the benefits are, where the negatives are, all that kind of stuff. Um, but what I really want to know from you is what you want to know how to do. So if there's anything you're specifically interested in seeing, then do tell me. And I will try very hard to uh, make sure I cover that in the next couple of videos uh, as soon as finances allow, as it were. Wow, that was a good catch, that one. On the money. Let me just spin round. You can see that ship's getting ever closer. And number two, I don't know. It still looks like it probably hasn't fired yet. So we'll grab it on the way home. And it either has or it hasn't, doesn't matter. We'll pick it up. a bit loose that one not very happy with that so we're going to lose some fish here again 6,000 kilograms seems to be the maximum we can have It doesn't really matter that much because we won't get it all on board. We're already overloaded. Look at that, 1600 kilograms lost. Wow. That's a huge amount to lose. Still has that bug then. Sometimes you can't steer. get some more b-roll for you guys it's always nice to see some external footage so if you sh you saw in my previous episodes that um, I attempted to have two crew members make pull the haul in um, and that just crashed um, causing me to have to restart the game I'm very interested to see if they fix that it's something that I suspect they will have fixed um, fingers crossed I hope it's the case
no fish caught at all. Well, that's interesting. That's the first one of those. Right, so we'll swing past these guys, swing in here, do that little chicane. Then head back into Yarmouth. Oops. Already five hours in the water, so we'll be doing a quick turnaround. Nice. Would you like to sell your fish at Yarmouth? Yes, I would. For 440,000, look at that. We got nearly a million in the bank, guys. Let's go have a look at the, uh, the shipyard. What can we buy for a million? We can get a coaster. Look at this. No, we can't. That's 6.5 million. I'm dreaming. We can buy ourselves another backstabber or we can go for the Lenore. Now, the Lenore can be rigged for line fishing, net fishing, deep line fishing and lobster fishing. So I think we're going to have a go at this um, just to see what all the other differences are. What it's like to do all the other different types of fishing. So before I do that though, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save my game. So we're going to save my career over my old game save. And I think we'll put a second save down the bottom here, just to be doubly sure. Just <laughs> so yeah, issues like that. I accidentally uh, deleted or closed the game down. So <laughs> pretty scary stuff. Let me just check here. Uh, see, I nearly did it again. What am I doing here? Dock. Shipyard. Available. Okay, so the Lenore for 295000 Looking very good. Now, if you put into perspective the fact that if I could hire a captain and basically hire two people to take this boat out and go and collect the two lines that I've already dropped, we're going to be making money hand over fist. I definitely think that's an area of the game that they should have considered as a priority. But uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll see it in the future. I think it's unlikely. Let's take a quick look at the map. So they've been in the water for nine hours. So actually we need to rest a little bit. Um, so what I'm going to do. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to sell my deep lines. Almost brand new, barely used, and we're going to go out and collect the ones that are out there, and uh, then we're going to sell up, and we're going to buy something new. So let's go to the map. Let's go to... No, sorry. Let's rest. I'm going to go four hours. Then take a look at the map. So they've been in the water for 12 hours. It's going to take me two hours to get there. That's 14 hours. I think that's about right. Deep line fishing requires crew to haul the line. Are you sure you wish to leave port without crew? Uh, no. What's happened to my crew member? Now this is a bug that was in, in the game before. Um... So that's, that's quite irritating.
We go for Victor Walker. Hello, Victor. So I'm not sure why we lost our crew member there. It seems to happen every time you restart the game, any crew that you had disappear. And I assume that's just a bug. It doesn't make sense to me to be uh, by design. Okay, so we're out of port. Bring ourselves into position. Another port up there that we can go and unlock. Okay, so we're going to be doing a bit of the late night fishing, which is a little more tricky. It's tricky when you do it in first person. If you want to see this done in first person, go watch my first set of videos because I tried to do everything uh, properly in that. But this time, bearing in mind I've already done all this once, I'm kind of a little bit skipping through because I want to get back to the point where I was when the game crashed on me when it bugged out on me, it didn't actually crash. Ah, oh, balls. Good start. Oh, just the one fish. Because they haven't fired yet. Silly me. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to sit on them for another four hours. I was going to say that should be daylight and you can see them all popping up there. It's nice when you're actually there when they actually pop quite realistic the way that they uh, bite. I don't like these alerts. I wish there was a way I could turn them off. So we just have a look and see if there is a way to turn them off. Game, nautical, not Celsius, blah blah blah. Enable analytics, enable fast travel. See, this enable fast travel, okay, I like the fact that they're introducing online leaderboards, but I feel like you should have a hardcore leaderboard and a, a casual leaderboard and hardcore leaderboard automatically turns all of this kind of stuff off port patrol comes on fast travel gets turned off fish gear helper i don't even know what that means i also like the fact that they've added a radio station but it doesn't look like we can change that oh i know what i wanted to try down here we had The option to pan the searchlight left and right. And it didn't work in the original. No, it's still broken. Still can't pan the searchlight left and right. Okay. So they haven't fixed that little bug, have they? No, they have not. Alright, let's not focus on that. Let's focus on the fish. Let's get them in. Get them in, get them home, get a new boat. Start fishing something that we haven't done before. I'm thinking lobster. Quite like the idea of trying out some lobster fishing. And if you've ever had 1300 kilograms, that's nice. If you've ever had the privilege of eating um, good lobster. Oh, oh dear. Incredible taste. Incredible.
only 808. That's pretty poor. We're looking really low on fuel right now. Couple of swordfish, nice. Yeah, three perfect. That's what we like to see. What? 696? That's absolutely rubbish. I'm glad it varies more. If you've watched my previous videos, you'll know that they were pretty, pretty much the same every single time. Yeah, hey, hundred tuna, nice. So as it always is, we're near capacity, we're going to lose a few fish on this particular haul. A few thousand kilos. Whoa, missed. But if we can get a, a full um, boatload at 440,000k, that would be good. That will put us over the million mark. Be nice. Job done. How much did we lose? Thirteen hundred, a thousand. That's a lot to lose. That really is a lot to lose. 
Right, let's get our asses back to the ports. And we can right click on the swordfish and ditch that um, marker because I don't think we're going to be fishing there again for a while. Um, slightly off angle, but we're okay. Bit of clipping of the sea coming through the boat there. I'm glad they've toned this down. It was far too bright before. Couldn't see a flipping thing. Okay, fish on board. Would you like to sell? Yes, I would. 460,000. Nice. That takes us over a million. Now, if we go to the fish market and sell my deep lines, because unfortunately, this is one thing I do find a little frustrating. When I buy a new boat, my deep lines don't go with me. In fact, nothing I've bought on this boat goes with me. It all stays with this boat, which is a tad annoying. So let's go to the dock. Let's go to the shipyard. Let's see what's available for 1.2 million. So, um, yeah. So we can compare it here. So the boat weight, 24,000 kilogram, 54 foot. This is a smaller boat, 45 foot. Only weighs 11,000 kilogram. Total quota per year is 280,000. Total quota 160,000. So you can actually get a lot more with this boat, interestingly. We can have two crew on board. Uh, max storage size is 20,000 kilograms, whereas this one is only 12,000. See, 12,000. Oh no, storage size. 6,000, max storage size 12,000. What is that a different boat to what we have? Why have we only got why have we only got 6,000 then? Uh, I don't fully understand how that works. Max storage size is 20,000 on that one, 12 on this one. So it's a much, even though it's a smaller boat, it has it's a much better fishing boat. So let's go for the Lenore. Congratulations on purchasing your first longline vessel check the wiki if you need any help using the longline tools Lenore supports lobster deep line and net fishing you can purchase these at port Lenore also supports up to two crew members who can assist you with tasks on the boat find someone to hire at the bars of various ports okay now this tutorial is what killed me before this is where I lost all my boats doing this tutorial. So I'm, I'm going to say yes, because I've already saved the game twice. So Lenore looking very awesome indeed. We've still got 965,000 in the bank, but we need to go buy some stuff. So let's start by getting some crew. And I'm not too bothered about their skill sets because Lenore only supports a maximum of two crew members. So does that mean, oh good, we kept Victor. That's good. That's always good. Okay, so that's good. Uh, fish market, fishing gear. Oh right, hang on, sorry. We need to go to upgrades. Storage. So you can see it's a lot more expensive now. Uh, to add 3,000, to add 6,000, to add whatever that is. Oh right, okay, I've got to do what this tutorial says. I completely forgotten about this. Um, So that increases it by 10,000. Three 
3,000, 6,000, 10,000. So that's 19,000 that I've expanded by there. Okay. So radar. We'll upgrade the radar. We'll upgrade the boys. Just because... Just because I think these are so much cooler, these boys. Not too bothered about the searchlight, to be honest. It isn't necessary in this game, unfortunately. Um, okay, so we've got the crew. What we need now is the fishing gear. So go to the fish market and select fishing gear submenu. Buy long lines. And it wants me to buy a 250 hook. So I've bought the 250. I'm also going to buy these much longer lines. And this is what I did last time and it all went horribly wrong. So we go back. We're going to bait the long lines. And what does he want us to bait with any type of bait? Okay, so we go crab, krill, mackerel, shrimp. Crab, krill, mackerel, Shrimp. Crab. Krill. Mackerel. Shrimp. Excellent. Still got 814,000 in the bank. And we are good to go. Exit the port by clicking return. There we go. Okay. New mission. Long line tutorial. Dismiss. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to save here because this is where it all went horribly wrong in my previous Let's Play. So let's just uh, do that. We'll get out to sea and then we'll check out the boat. Oh crap. So I've already hit the hull. Nice. Bit of damage to start. Always good. You can open the map to see your marked area and follow the marker on top of your screen in third person mode. I did say I'd like to see this thing available in first person mode right now. Where is the marker? Thank goodness they've put it on the map. Because previously this was off here somewhere and I was going off the edge of the map and it destroyed my boat. So, uh, yes, I'm glad to see they fixed that. Bearing in mind, at the time, I didn't know that you couldn't go off the map, because in the other game, you used to be able to go to deep sea. And I certainly felt like that's what I was doing. But in actual fact, I just destroyed my boat multiple times over. Right, now, let's get the crew up. The crew management up. Let's see. Oh look, now we can gut fish. That's cool. Yeah, I get the impression that they can't chuck. I get the impression that they can't set the fish lines. Which just seems ludicrous to me. God, this this is awful, this, isn't it? Really hoping they sort the graphics out on this game. Make your way to the marked area. Now that you have reached the mark area, marked area, it's time to set your first long line. Okay. Go to first person perspective. Move to the work deck and pick up a line bucket. Oh, I might be in trouble here because there's already one ready. Place the bucket by the line setter, interact with the line setter, wait for the line to drop fish. So you can see it's dropping the line there. Now, interestingly, the boat is automatically moving. 
Oh, that's smart. I like that. I like that a lot. And I think... Oh, yeah, this is this is nice. Oh, I ha okay, so we've got two levers here. We've got forward and backwards, and then we've got speed, I guess. Right, so in order to complete this tutorial, I need to pick up and do one of these myself, which is fine. There we go. Read the message. Now that you've set your first long line, you need to wait a minimum of four hours before you can pick it up. For the purposes of this tutorial, the time will now be skipped forward 20 hours. Okay, that's not flipping annoying at all, is it? 20 hours is the optimum time a long line should stay in the sea. You can see this by looking at the outline colour of the boy on the map. The best time to pick up the line for the best yield is when the outline is blue. See the wiki for more details. Well, I looked at the wiki and I'm not sure I agree with you. It didn't tell me anything. Now you need to haul the long line. In order to haul in the long line, you need to position the boat such that both of the boys are starboard, the right side of the boat, and at least one of the boys is within a few metres of the line hauler. A semicircular region will be highlighted green when one of the boys is positioned close enough to the line hauler. Now, I get the distinct impression that I'm going to be forced to haul this in myself. I won't be able to use my crew this time. But once we've completed the tutorial, and hopefully it's not going to force us to go back to shore, then we can drop the rest of these lines and we'll be good. So I might just do one set of long line fishing and then we'll uh, swap out our rigging and go for something else. But I've got to say, I like this boat. This is a good boat. Really like it. second boy isn't on the starboard side of the boat, it bloody is. So this, I think, is going to be a little bit more tricky to haul in than uh, deep line fishing. See, even when it's in the... Um, the semicircle, it kind of feels like it says it isn't. Oh, are you seeing what I'm seeing out there, guys? Some flipping swordfish. Come on, boat. I'm not sure this rain looks particularly good. Oh, wow. I need to upgrade the engine on this, I think. This is definitely harder than uh, deep line fishing. So they're both on the starboard side. I think that's the problem we're having is keeping in line with them whilst positioning oh wow look at that the sea is pushing us right the waves I should say finally when hauling in a long line you have to time your mouse click when you collect each fish the smaller circle is the better you perform and the better your haul will be Indicated colours. Red equals a miss, yellow equals OK, green equals good, and blue equals perfect. Oh, wow. 
This mini game is a lot harder than deep deep lining. That's a good one. Perfect. Nice. Can be done. Okay. I was just trying to see whether I control the position of it. It seems like I do. Sort of. It's weird. I'm not going to move the mouse. I'm just going to click the button. And see, you can see it is moving onto the fish automatically. So I don't really control that. Wow, this is a 250 line. Imagine what it's going to be like with a 2000 line. I'm going to be here forever. See what kind of yield we get from these fish. this this is awesome this is definitely cool last one now you need to gut the fish okay now we need to gut the fish move to the gutting table and interact with it once you've pressed start, you need to hold down the left mouse button and move the mouse from left to right in a continuous motion. Try to keep the knife over marked path to maximise the gutting quality of the fish. Click start to begin. Oh, that's different. What have I not done? Finish gutting the rest of the fish. Really? I have to press start every time. That's a tad annoying. That's a good one. Is that it? Oh, okay, so I don't have to do all 15. Good job collecting the first long line. A mission waypoint has been set on your map to another long line that has been set for a number of hours already. Hurry to haul in this long line before too much time passes. A long line must be picked up before 48 hours have elapsed or else the line will be lost. The colour of the buoys on the minimap indicate the amount of time they have been out for. Blue equals best result, green is medium, yellow is low and red is very low. Okay, cool. So we've got a little stack of fish ready to be sold, which is nice. Got a slight problem though. We can't haul in another long line until we've chucked out this one. But it automatically accelerates, look. So I don't have to have the boat engine activated at all. It does it all automatically, which is a tad weird. So this is a two and a half thousand line and we've only done 50 of 200 meters. Sorry, 200 meter line. Apologise, it's probably cost two and a half thousand. So that's going to be a nightmare to haul in. I'm definitely going to use the crew for it. Hopefully they work this time. And with the gutting of the fish. I'm not particularly interested in doing that job either. It's cool that we have it, but I'm not going to bloody do it. Well, whilst the uh, boat is kind of doing things all on its own, let's um, see if we can walk around the edge. See, this is what I like. This, being able to walk around the boat freely. This is brilliant. I love this. Awesome. Excellent work. And it's kind of like a bigger, better cockpit than, uh, than our previous boat, which is nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, that's our first 200 line in. <sighs> it wants us to go pick this one up, which is a tad annoying, but we'll do it because it's part of the tutorial. Uh, where is it? 
Now again, um, I was saying earlier, there was a thousand kilograms of fish there, that's not bad. I was saying earlier that um, it would be really good if we had like a hardcore mode and an arcade mode. And in hardcore mode, I don't think the external camera should be an option. That would definitely make things more complicated. It would also be super bloody awesome if we had multiplayer in this game. Not essential, but for the future, I'd love, I'd love that to be an area that they're looking into. Right, let's do this. Phone's ringing again. That's like the fifth phone call I've had today. Presumably from the same people. That was perfect. So how many fish are we uh, hauling in here? 15. Okay, so we've done 4 of 15. I'm curious to see how long the... Uh, the really, really long, long lines that we've put in are... How many fish you get on there? Getting a few perfects now. Definitely getting used to it. Oh, this one's still alive. <laughs> Very nice. Last one. Try gutting the fish again. Okay, I'll try gutting the fish again. Where do the fish go before they're gutted and stuff? Shouldn't they appear in here or something? Gutting a fish will usually increase the price of the fish when selling them, unless you gut the fish particularly badly, less than two stars. Note that the port will still buy ungutted fish from you, but at a lower price. So that was pretty good, that was like four and a half stars. Oh, that was only three stars. Interesting. That's a good one, four and a half. Yeah, I'd say the mechanic for this is much better than it was in the first one. It just works far better. Congratulations on hauling your second long line. Thank you so much. We've got extra fish. So, whilst we're here, let's... Uh, let's put another line in. And we'll basically drop the lot. Um, and I'm just going to drop them all in this area. I'm not going to do necessarily a straight line. Yeah, I'm a little I'm a little curious how how many fish there's gonna be on a line this long. We're probably gonna max out the quota for the boat. Even though I believe I've bought every single upgrade available for storage, but see look, only thirteen thousand kilograms available. I don't know why that is. Oh, we're still going, that's why. Okay. So 
So this boat is supposed to have a maximum of 20,000 kilograms storage. But we've bought all of the storage and we've still only got, uh, what did I say, 12,000 or something? 13,000. And that's just not enough. And we've definitely got to upgrade the engine on this boat. This engine is woeful. Barely moving the boat. Now if you look at the throttle, it's like maximum throttle, maximum throttle, zero throttle. Maximum throttle, I mean, who's doing that? <laughs> there's nobody, there's nobody in, you can see it's moving as well. I don't understand that. I would like to see that kind of thing removed from the game. I didn't like it in the first one. I certainly don't like it in this one. I'm a bit stuck. Oh, there we go. So we can have the old radio on, that's nice. One thing I did point out previously is when you pick up the binoculars, they don't disappear off the side. I think they should, personally. And definitely the sea is still clipping the boats. And I don't think it's going to happen, but who wouldn't like to see a whale every now and then, or a dolphin, or something. Uh-oh, I'm doing that floating in the air thing again. Does that mean I can get off the edge of the boat? Oh, I so nearly can, but... Okay, that's fixed it, did good, good. In goes the mackerel. I wish the map didn't stop the boat as well. A few things I wish they'd change. There we go. My feet are repaired. Why can't you do this job? What do I pay you for? <laughs> 